Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC <coughs> and on this video I'm going to show you how I waterproof my speed control and my receiver you know, for the plants that I put on the water so basically the, it's very simple guys, all I do is really mix a Pepsi glue and then you apply it to the receiver and the speed control uh, this receiver was done already. I did this receiver a few months ago and it's actually been underwater quite a few times already. Uh, you see basically what I do, mix the Pepsi and cover the whole receiver with it. Uh, even the antenna, basically everything basically. You see how shiny it is? That's the Pepsi glue covering all over it. Even this part that is a little higher over here, you have to make sure to get it all over it. You don't want nothing exposed top and bottom. The only part that you don't put a Pepsi is of course in the prongs where you're going to be connecting your your wires into it. And then you can just put it back in the case, you know, where it came from. It, now if it was just shrink tubing, you know, you can put some shrink tubing back on it or you can even leave it exposed really. Uh, it really won't matter now because, you know, this is basically a hard shell now. And when it comes to the speed control, I do the same thing which we're about to do right now. Uh, basically, let me go ahead and have some Pepsi here. This is uh, I think it's 15 minutes of Pepsi right now. Normally I like to use like a five minutes or something like that, you know, the short time. But basically I'm gonna leave this one just set until tomorrow whenever I go do the test on the on the plane. So there'll be no problem basically letting it dry overnight. Make sure everything mix truly. Mm. Which actually to me looks a little bit weird. Looks a little bit yellowish or whatever. And normally it looks a little bit more clear or white. I don't know. It could be because of the pink foam on the bottom. Anyway, you know we're gonna mix this truly all the way. And I think I'm gonna have to mix some more. Probably. Not sure yet, but we'll see. I'm basically gonna start on this part right here. Uh I mean just pour it in here guys just make sure it gets all on these creases all over it and on this plate you know basically just get it just enough so it will hold the plate on place because that plate is barely glue over there on top of there actually I'm surprised it's being held on place because normally the, the this metal plate right here there is actually a heat shrink or whatever they call it you know just to absorb the, the heat from the electronics Normally it's only being hollow placed by the shrink tubing that, that they put around it But this one seems like it was glue or something. So it's holding on place pretty good Which is good, you know Starting with this, you know all these little holes right here In between those Things I don't even know what they are called these little circles Make sure all that gets in there because we don't want not a single drop of water to go between that plate and that stuff. So we are make sure that we got all that right there. Now we go to the really exposed part right here. Which I just gonna pick the glue up and drop it in here. Now of course you know you're not gonna be available to do any modifications to the, to this speed control anymore. Not that you would have done it anyway. I never have done it, any any modifications to them. Uh, I hear of some guys doing, you know, modifying these things for some reason, whatever is it. But I never had the need, basically, to do it. Um, yeah, so basically, just gonna get it all on these things, all over. And of course, we're gonna make sure the. <laughs> Uh, the the Pepsi is truly dry, completely dry, before we plug it in. Cause if not, we're gonna have a big mess with blue smoke. <laughs> uh, so pushing it over, all over the creases. You know, make sure everything gets it. See all the little corners, you know, that's why I'm using a toothpick to make sure I'm pushing it all on the little creases. Now we gotta, you know, you gotta be careful with it, you know, you, you can't just poke everywhere hard. You have to be very gentle with it. 
Well, guys, it was actually enough a Pepsi. So, okay, so this puppy is done. I just gotta let it dry basically until tomorrow. What the heck is that? How you call that thing? What stand? <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh god, that was cool. Too, hot, too far though. Okay guys, so basically the the Pepsi glue is dry already. You know, to the touch and everything. So what I'm gonna do now that you know I already inspected and make sure the there was no gaps, you know, little holes or something where the water can get in, you know. So now that I know everything is okay, basically I'm just gonna go ahead and put my velcro back on it, on the back of it, and we're good to go. You know now I can put it back on the what I used to have on the on the plane, and the heat is still be available to come out of this plate which is the reason basically for this plate and um, put the receiver back in the case so right guys this is how I water proof my plants uh, for the ones that are going to go on the water so basically now we're ready to put it back inside that plane so you thank you for watching guys subscribe see you next fly oh look at that how it looks pretty cool on the water it's very stable right? it's surprisingly very stable look at that one wheel Touch and go with, with one skip. <laughs> 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 <laughs>